Hey guys, what's up? I'm back once again for another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an overview of probably one of my favorite Blu-ray releases that have come out this year. When I first heard that this release was coming out, I was really anticipating it and I was really excited by it. And I knew that I, I had to have it in my collection. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get it right away because I didn't have a anything to play it on. You know, I don't have a Blu-ray player. So I knew that buying it would be kind of pointless since I couldn't watch it. But I still wanted to get it because it's such an amazing edition. Um, but recently, around Christmas time, I ended up getting a PlayStation 3. And uh, and I knew that I would be able to pick it up then. Uh, by that point, um, I've heard that it was actually going out of print pretty, pretty fast. And I was really worried I wouldn't be able to get it. But I ended up going down to FYE and picking it up. And that is the Halloween, the 35th Anniversary Edition, Digibook Blu-ray. Now, as you guys, like I said before, um, I really wanted this release, but I was really worried that it was actually going to go out of print, because I've heard it's going out of print before I was able to get it. Uh, this release came out in September, I believe. Either September or the beginning of October, I'm not quite sure. But ever since it came out, I've been seeing everybody doing videos of it, and, you know, uh, I just really really wanted it and then I finally got a chance to get it you know um I got this thing for mainly two reasons the first one is as the people that have watched my videos know it's my favorite horror movie the second thing was is that I'm a really big fan of digibooks um I only have two of my collection now as you guys saw in my last uh, blu-ray dvd update I just got the clockwork orange one as well but um I don't have any other ones and um Honestly, I'm actually starting to prefer Digibooks over Steelbooks. The main reason is because they put so much effort into Digibooks and, you know, you get more than just the movie. You know, you mainly get a whole book, tons of information on the movie, and then, you know, one or two discs. So that's always great. So I thought that, you know, if I was going to get a Digibook, which, you know, and if I was going to splurge and spend a lot of money on something, then this would be the one that I'd get. Um, I ended up getting this for only twenty dollars, which is great. And um, yeah, and like I said, it's my favorite horror movie, so I try to collect every single edition of this movie I can get. And now I decided to go ahead and uh, show you guys, show it off for you guys. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is the packaging. Now, um, first off, I want to say I love of how did the Blu-ray logo at the top is orange, the blue, the uh, orange banner at the top. I think that's a really, really great um, touch to it. It really just adds something to it, you know, instead of just having a regular blue banner. It actually looks orange, you know, like a pumpkin, and I really, really enjoy that. And it's really, you know, shiny and metallic. So that's really, really great. And then, of course, down here it says John Carpenter's, you know, Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition, and the title of the, uh, title of it is embossed as well as 35th anniversary and yeah so that's also really great and again it's also orange and very metallic now I'm going to talk about the cover art on the front when I first saw this I really wasn't a big fan mainly because I'm so I love the original poster you know with the pumpkin and the uh, the knife next to it that's such an iconic symbol to me and horror so when I saw the cover I was not a big fan of it the first time I saw it but I've had, after I've had this for a while and after I've you know thought about it I actually do really like this cover I think it's very unique it's very different from all the other um, all the other cover arts for Halloween and all the VHS's and the DVD releases and you know I just think it's really nicely detailed as well as you can see like first off, Michael Arndt mask. If you can look, it's got. It looks like it's got like cracks in it on the sides, and then you know just the the way the uh, the lighting looks on it. And then if you kind of look, um, there's actually it looks like that there's like dust and stuff coming off of the mask, which I actually think was a really cool, nice touch. So you know, I kind of like this artwork for it. Uh, it's very different, very unique for this particular edition. And, um, yeah, I much rather prefer the original one, of course, but I really do like this one as well. Now I'm going to flip it over to the spine. There's this John Carpenter's Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition, Blu-ray, and Anchor Bay. 
I know that Anchor Bay hasn't really put out a lot of good stuff lately, or so that's what I've heard people saying, but now they put this out, so I think that, uh, you know, I really hope that Anchor Bay gets back into doing, you know, good classic horror movie releases. Because I haven't really seen anything, like, really great come out of them lately, but I'm really glad that they put this one out. And then here is the, uh, the actual, uh, paper that comes on the back. One of the only complaints I have is that there's no artwork on the back, which I was really hoping that there would be. At least, there'd be at least something. They're just, you know, just that. But, you know, other than that, it just has all the information on the film right here. And, of course, all the special features that it comes with. I'm not going to read them all off because I'm sure everybody knows what's in this set. But, um, yeah, kind of wish that they had a bit of artwork on the back. That's one of the my two major complaints with this release. As you can see, there is actually a bit of the uh, the pumpkin on the side right there. But I figured since there's no artwork on the back, I'd just keep this on the back. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now the first thing that I noticed when you first open it up is that you actually get an original like poster artwork for the movie, which I really, really like. I love the original poster, and, I'm, and I like it how... It really does look like the kind of poster that you would put up on your wall, which I think is a really nice touch right there. It even has the information at the bottom. So since they put it on the inside, I'm actually, you know, happy that they did that. You know, they didn't have to put it on the uh, actual cover. I'm really glad that they still put the poster on the inside, and it looks really nice. Classic poster. There's the Halloween 35th anniversary. And then it has, of course, tons of different photos from the film. Like right there is John looking over the banister of Michael. On the top is a quote of, uh, from John Carpenter. It says, Evil hiding among us is, is an ancient theme. October 31st, 1978, the night he came home. And this is just them talking about the, the new release of the film. Different information on it. I'm not going to read any of it, but... It's just got a lot of great write-up on, you know, when it was re-released for this edition. It was also re-released to theaters. Um, I don't know if it was released to theaters worldwide, but it was released here in October. I forget the exact date. Um, I didn't go see it because I actually went to go see it last year when it was re-released again. And for some reason, when I went to go see it, the, um, the sound on it just wasn't turned up very loud or anything. And I was kind of disappointed, but... Yeah, there's a great shot of uh, Donald Pleasance making that funny face. I've not seen that many Donald Pleasant films, but I do hope to. And here's a shot of, uh, of course, uh, Jamie getting um, her makeup done a little bit with the cut on her arm right there. Really like that. There's a picture of Jamie and John. And then there's a shot of the entire the entire cast right there. And then lots more of information on the film. There's like John, you know, directing the opening scene with Jamie where she's sitting there waiting for <coughs> waiting for Annie to come pick her up. And there she is in the uh, closet, sort of just smiling behind the scenes stuff. One thing I love about the Digibooks is they have tons of, you know, classic, you know, behind the scenes. Like this shot right here of this John just goofing around with the two, with Linda and her boyfriend. You know, I just love little shots like that. I've seen this picture before, but, you know, it was just still something nice. And down here is a quote from John. It says, uh, to make Michael Myers frightening, I had him walk like a man, not, not a monster. Which I think is a really cool quote. All the real monsters are men. Shot of Donald Pleasance. Cop car with John. 
There it is once again right there. And there's a shot of, you know, more goofing around backstage. I also like that every picture is black, black and white. Just something about it. There's a shot of Jamie holding with the camera. And then there's a quote from Donald Pleasance and says, John Carpenter created the idea of Halloween, so his vision remains the most focused and intelligently directed. It's another really good shot right there. More about its release. All right. Now, this is probably the main... Um, I've seen in so many videos people not liking the way that the disc is packaged. As you can see right here, first there's the uh, pumpkin. As you can see right here, the disc is just packaged in this little sleeve where you pull it out at the top. And that's what it looks like, but, which, I must say, um, I, I'm not a big fan of the way that the disc is packaged. This is probably my second major complaint on this release. I'd much rather have it, you know, the plastic, you know, plastic on it, and then just have it on the tab, you know, around in the back, like they do other digibooks. I'm not really sure why they did this, but this is probably the major, the main, you know, complaint I have with this release. You know, so it kind of, it brings it down a little bit, but it's still, it's still, it's not bad, but it's really not that great that they packaged it like that. And then here's all the, uh, you know, special features on it. I know you guys can't really read that, but, you know, you can just, if you want to, if you want to know what the special features are, look it up. I'm really looking forward to hearing the new audio commentary with John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis and the, uh, the Night She Came Home featurette. Those are two ones I'm really looking forward to. And the last quote right here, what's the boogeyman? Laurie Strode. Such a classic quote. And there's the back. So there you have it, guys. That was my overview of the Halloween 35th Anniversary Edition Digibook Blu-ray. Now, if I had to rate this item, I would definitely, out of, let's say out of five stars, I'd give it maybe three, three and a half, I'd say. Um... You know, as far as the, uh, I would have given it a 4, but as far as the packaging goes, you know, I'm not a big fan of the way that the disc is housed in the back. You know, that's one, that's probably my major complaint with it. I at first wasn't a big fan of the artwork, but now I actually, I actually like the artwork a lot now. Now that I've gotten used to it. So, you know, and, um, I kind of wish it was more artwork on the back, but that's not a really made, that's not a major thing for me. You know, I'm just glad that it did it, but overall, this is a this is definitely an amazing addition, and I highly recommend it to you know anybody who doesn't own Halloween on Blu-ray to pick it up, check it out. I have not listened to the new commentary or seen the new documentary with Jamie Lee Curtis, so I can't really talk about those yet. But um, yeah, that was my overview. So if anybody is interested and still wants to pick it up, I highly recommend you do. I'm not really sure how much longer this is going to be available. I've seen it already go online. I've seen used copies of this go online for about $20, which I think is a good price. You know, I got mine brand new for $20, and then the newer editions are $40. I've actually heard people from, you know, other parts of the world say that they're, it's $20 there brand new. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe in America we just got you know, the higher price, I'm not sure, but either way, if you're a Halloween fan, I definitely recommend picking this up, um, it, like I said, really great edition, three and a half stars, just awesome, and, you know, I'm a huge Halloween fan, so I've just gotta, had to pick this up, but anyway guys, thanks for watching my overview, um, next, my next overview is definitely gonna be the Clockwork Orange Digibook Blu-ray, and I hope to have that up soon, but, um, yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks to everybody for subscribing, and I'll see everyone later.